This is Coogan Cassis for Rifle London. We're in Sheffield for the press conference pre-America for Kelbrook against Devon Alexander on February 23rd in Detroit. With me, I've got a very tanned Kelbrook. What's happening, Kel? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah, you're looking an amazing colour there. You should try and keep that colour all year round. I'd like to, but you know, this, have you seen weather outside? It's free. I've come back to this freezing, this snow all over. I need to get back out there, Fiorce Ventura. Five weeks until the fight. Um, just tell us a little bit about what you've been doing since Christmas. I mean, you know, are you deep into training camp at the moment? Deep in training camp. Christmas Day, New Year's Day. I trained on them, on them, you know, them days very, very hard. I've been non-stop for weeks and weeks now. Me standing here right now, I am probably, I'm ready to go now. I'm ready to go now. I'm, you know, I'm probably as fit. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the same condition that I were for the last five. And I've still got five and a half weeks to go, so what am I going to end up being like, Coogan? I'm going to be, end up being frightening, a machine. You know, since I was nine year old, it's been, you know, it's, I've dreamt about being a world champion. And, you know, on the 23rd of February, it's my time. We're going to fly out to Detroit and we're going to win that world title. We're taking it off Devin Alexander. He's saying I'm nothing special, but he's going he's gonna to know really quick in the fight when he feels that ramrod jab you know, and, and the passion that I'm going to be bringing in, in that ring, he's going to know really quick that, you know, that I am special. You've had some experience in America when you fought on the undercard of Froch and Ward uh, against Galaza, so you've sort of got a little taster of what it is to fight, fight out there. Uh, you know, how, how do you feel you're going to cope with the pressure of going over there? Like I said, you're fighting away from Sheffield, you're fighting away from England. Um, you'll have a great support here from Sheffield and all over England that are going to come and watch you, but how do you think you're going to deal with that initial pressure when you step out uh, of the arena walking into the ring? You know, I think it were unbelievable. It was fantastic for me to be fighting on the Carl Froch undercard because that were that were the final of the Super Six. You know, and I'll admit I were a bit nervous. I've, I've not really boxed outside England, but you know, even during the fight, during the fight, and especially after the fight, I thought it's just a ring at end of the day. There's, there's, there's no big, it's no big thing, you know. And and after boxing in Sheffield, Sheffield Arena and packing it out and having that pressure on me and stuff like that. I think I've, you know, I've, I've done it all now. I've got the T-shirt, you know. So when I go out to America, it, nothing's going to faze me. You know, I've got one thing on my mind, and that's to get in there and beat them, Alexander. And I'm going to turn up in the, the best physical, mental shape, you know, so healthy, so, you know, so mentally in the zone, you know, knowing that I've done absolutely everything right. I've got, I've got my nutritionist, Dave. Dave starts living with me every day, so everything what passes my mouth, you know, he, 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 he knows the nutritional values of him. You know, I'm getting the best out of me in training. I've got my strength conditioner, Dave, Dave Embra, and uh, head trainer, Dominic Kingill. I've got a fantastic team. You know, we know that on, on the 23rd of February that I'm going to be in the best ever shape that I could ever be in. And, you know, and I'm, and I'm passionate and, you know, I'm ready for a dog fight, a technical fight. I am ready. I am ready now for, for this world title fight. I'm going to get in there and I, there's no way I'm leaving Detroit without that belt. Do you feel as though you're going over there and you're going, to, um, you're going to have to stop him or knock him out to get, you know, if it goes to points, you may not get a decision. Has that crossed your mind? It has crossed my mind, but Eddie said today that we're having a, a British judge, an American judge, a neutral judge. So I think, you know, that's made me, that's made me happy. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the way I'm training and the way that I'm going to be on that on, in five week time, you know, I, I don't see it going to the distance. But if it does go the distance, you're going to see who, 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 was, who was the winner in the fight. You know, you're gonna, it's going to be so one sided if it does go to points. Because I'm ready to, to go all out for 12 rounds if I need to. I'm, you know, I'm going to be in a so, so, so in a fantastic place. But at that time comes, I'm, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be ready. Are you aware that you're being interviewed by an award-winning reporter, Kel? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. You forgot about that one, didn't you? I forgot about that, yeah. Congratulations to that. But, yeah, you are the man. I am the man, and I'll be with you in Detroit. So, you know what I mean? It's going to get a bit rough in downtown Detroit. So, there'll be Dominic on one side, me on the other side. Just make sure you bring your dancing shoes. For the party afterwards, obviously. Serious party after. Serious. All right, listen, Kel, thank you very much for talking to iFilm London. We wish you the best of luck for the 24th. Like I said, I'll be out there, so I'll probably be pestering you for a couple more of these when we're out there just to 
keep the fans updated on you know what's going out in America for the people that can't be there, and uh, you're going to do it February 23rd. It's our time. We need we need to keep updating, yeah, updating the fans. So when you get out there, we're gonna. I'll be you know I'll be on to him to. I'll be dra dragging you to interview me, you know, because I wanna I wanna let the fans know exactly step by step what we're gonna be do what we're doing while we're out there. You know, I just want I want to get them involved. I, them who can't get over there, uh, get your popcorn, get your popcorn out, because it, it's going to be one hell of a fight, and you're going to be, you're going to be well entertained. All right, Kel, thank you very much for talking to us, and uh, like I said, good luck, good luck on the 23rd of Feb. Thank you, Coogan Cassius, with soon to be world champion Kel Brook for iFilm London. Go on, Kel. Go on, go on, bye bye. <laughs>